behalf of the government and people of Papua New Guinea, I welcome you all to the 24 past brigades of education systems consultation via Zoom. Thank you for choosing Papua New Guinea to host this meeting. I wish you all successful discussions and outcomes of this meeting, which will benefit the government and our people in the Pacific. I wholeheartedly thank you all in advance for your valuable input in the discussions over the next four days. Just like the other states of the Pacific, PNG has its own share of cultural and natural diversity. At this juncture, I wish to acknowledge the Pacific member states, including UNESCO and the regional education partners for promoting the outcomes of the new consultation that has eventually resulted in staging this conference. Papua New Guinea is committed to embrace the important ideal on education for sustainable development that aims to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Equally, I understand the governments of the Pacific states are doing the same and such meeting as this is important that creates the opportunities and maintaining common dialogue. As we all know, one of the dangers facing delivery of effective and quality education is natural disasters and emergencies that are particularly prevalent in the Pacific. Notably, our governments have taken steps to address education issues resulting from the impacts of the pandemic by ensuring that learning continues for our children. I must applaud the team for this meeting. We must work as a team at these times of uncertainty by building resilience in education through meaningful dialogues. PNG stands ready to continue its support for the regional cooperation and further enhancing the work of UNESCO on education for sustainable development. To conclude, I again welcome you all to this virtual meeting and looking forward to a successful discussion and outcomes. Thank you through all one solora.